I wanted to look at uh, celebrity culture for a number of reasons. First of all, I, I, in my normal day-to-day -day work, I started to realize the incredible impact that celebrities have on numerous aspects of our lives, whether you're talking about uh, your health decisions, whether it is how we view ourselves personally or how we view other individuals, and even on the life decisions that we make, on our ambitions. Celebrity culture has just a, a fantastic impact. So I thought looking at a book, uh, using celebrity culture to look at all these issues was a terrific idea. I hope it's a fun idea. And it's, a, it's an excuse to also to weave in what the actual evidence says about it, what the science actually says about all these issues, which I think are tremendously important. During my personal journey, I tried to immerse myself into celebrity culture. So I tried out for American Idol. I got to hang out on the set of a new HBO show. Uh, I went to all these spas. Uh, uh, just doing that to get a sense of how people view celebrity in their lives. For example, a lot of the um, uh, American Idol co contestants truly wanted to be a celebrity. And then it's, that caused me to look at what the actual evidence says, and it's true, there's been this fantastic shift from wanting to be an astronaut, wanting to be a scientist, wanting to be a, t a teacher, to wanting to be a celebrity, wanting to be famous, an actor, a singer, a sports star. So that now are the ambitions that many people have in our society. That was a, a surprise to me. The other thing that was surprising is the degree to which celebrity culture does have an impact. Uh, I, you know, I spoke to people when I was working on the book and everyone thought, oh, what a great idea for a book. But look, celebrity culture doesn't impact me, it impacts other people. You know, the stupid people out there doesn't impact me. Well, it turns out that celebrity culture, and this was a surprise to me, celebrity culture does have an impact on all of us. Uh, just because it, celebrity culture is our culture, it has that impact on almost an unconscious level. It impacts how we think about ourselves and how we look, it impacts how we judge other people's uh, appearances. It has an impact on the kinds of decisions we make around health, whether it's what kind of screening we're going to do, what kind of food we're going to eat, what kind of exercise we're going to do. Uh, and studies tell us that celebrities have this impact, or celebrity culture more broadly, even when we don't know it. So that, the degree to which that is true uh, was a surprise to me. Health crazes are coming around all of the time. You know, right now we have gluten-free, we have non-GMO, uh, eat organic, uh, and there are all, all these crazy fads and crazy cleanses and detoxes. So I think, you know, I always start with this uh, assumption. History tells us that all dieting fads are wrong. I mean, think about it. When in human history has a, a dieting fad turned out to be correct? Over time, they're almost always debunked. Make it, see if you can name one dieting fad that is held up. There aren't any. So I start with the assumption that a dieting fad is wrong, and then going forward, evidence is going to sort of slowly, sometimes uh, too slowly, but slowly reveal what the truth is. Uh, and so I, I don't know what the next fad is going to be, but I can almost guarantee uh, it will be a fad and that will, uh, science will uh, eventually tell us what the truth is. People need to realize it's really tough to study nutrition. It's really tough to get a sense of what really works long term. So people may get frustrated, but I think what they need to do is just follow the research. Don't take one study for granted. Don't take an animal study for uh, granted. Look for a body of evidence. Look for a trustworthy source of information and let that guide you. And the truth is, when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to fitness, we know the answer. In general, we know what, what is required to be healthy. Eating lots of fruits and vegetables, getting exercise, getting a good night's sleep, you don't smoke. We know the ba basics of a healthy lifestyle. And a lot of this other stuff is just window dressing. So it's true, you know, I, I had my own celebrity ambitions when I was growing up. And that's the other reason that I was interested in this book. Um, yeah, the, the book is not a put down of celebrity culture at all. On the contrary, I love celebrity culture. And for a significant portion of my young adulthood, my aspiration was to be a rock star. Uh, and I really focused on it. I always joke that I was one semester away from having very few educational op options. 
Uh, yeah, but I, you know what I did? I did learn. Uh, uh, I try to draw on that experience, the stage, the stage experience, um, and I still love. I still love music, and in the back of my mind, I still think the the rock star dream lives on. Oh, it's, that's easy. That's a no-brainer. It's London Calling. It should be everyone's pick. <laughs> there is, in fact, a study just came out. I can't believe I'm referring to a study on this, but a study just came out on the benefits of of music. For example, when you're recovering from surgery, I think probably what it, what's really going on there is that people feel more relaxed, they feel more happy, it gives them a pleasurable distraction. Uh, I think there are real tangible benefits to studying music, uh, to, to, uh, to education. There's some studies that correlate uh, music education and proficiency in math. Uh, so absolutely huge number of benefits of music, both listening and playing, whether you're good or not. <laughs>